Hey guys, Chris here from Kite Republic, here today to talk everything winging. Primarily, what do I need, how do I get into it, and why is everybody talking about the sport of wing foiling right now? Everywhere you look, you will see wings out there on the water, and that number's growing. There's gotta be a reason. So firstly, why wing? What's the addiction? Well, for me, now, what, five minutes from home, I can be in the middle of a bay that you'd see a little bit of swell before, but wouldn't really be picking up on it. You'd see it as a flat water spot that was choppy. Whereas now, winging with the foil, with the wing, I can be getting onto swell and actually surfing right there, five minutes from home. You know, I can use the wing just to get me to the spots I wanna be at. And then as soon as I'm there, I can flick into it, get the wing parked out of the way behind me and just be free surfing. That's huge. Outside of that, Everything's very close to you, so it's quite a, a safe sport. There's no sort of massive danger zones around you, etc., apart from maybe a meter under the water that you weren't used to before using foils. But everything's right there. It's all, it's all quite contained. Anytime you let go, there's nothing, and it's all dropped within a couple of meters of you, which is really nice. Anyone can do it. You can do it on a SUP board. You can do it on the wing board. You can do it on windsurf boards. Pretty much anything. You see guys on surfboards as well now doing it. So it can be used with a number of different crafts you've already got as well. So, big question we're getting a bit of, especially from people uh, in those other wind sports. What's different about this compared to other wind sports? So, I guess let's, let's talk about kite surfing first, coming from kiteboarding uh, it's, and windsurfing for that matter. So firstly, there's the foil component, which you can do on any of those. Um, the foil in itself opens up a lot more conditions, a lot more days you can be on the water. But with the wing, it's got one massive difference. You can use the power of the wing to get you to where you wanna go, and you can literally ditch it 100%, which comes from basically you use it, you get into the spot you wanna be, and then all of a sudden you get onto the wave, you just bring the wing down, hold the handle beside you, and you can literally just free surf and free foil on the waves without getting that pull. So, uh, you know, kiteboarding, windsurfing, you can do the same, you can ride on the foil still, but you cannot get rid of that power. So you can never really get to that absolute freedom of surf that you can with the wing, which is a huge thing and uh, why so many people are gravitating to it. And surfing in their own backyards where they really hadn't thought about it before. You know, you can use the wing in massive waves just to whip you in like you would have a jet ski before, or you can be learning with your, you know, your, your five-year-old kid on the SUP playing around with the wing as well in a really safe, comfortable environment. There's heaps of pros, uh, super fun. So next, what are the perfect conditions for wing foiling? So I think I mentioned there, you can use it for just about anything. Anybody wanting to learn, it's always going to be easier learning in a flat water condition. So if you've got some form of harbour or protection so that the swell flattens out, that's amazing. If you don't, no massive drama, but when you're learning and you're trying to get up and, and get started at the slower speeds, it's very hard if, if it's choppy. So onshore conditions, um, are generally a little bit tougher because you'll always be a little bit choppier with that um, unless you've got protection obviously from reefs or harbours or the like so you'll generally find for beginners that side shore is really good because one it's got the safety of not taking you out to sea or out into the bay or whatever it is um, but two it also generally doesn't have the same sort of chop that an onshore day would so look flat water is great for learning as you improve, you might love learning how to pump and learning how to use the board and, and the foil together in those uh, conditions that have a small bit of swell. And then as you improve, look, getting into the waves for most people is the absolute ultimate. So you can use it in all conditions. Look, I've used it on the snow. You can use it in, in a lot of places. Lakes are absolutely feasible for this as well. So become a part of it. You will not regret it. It is an awesome sport and we look forward to uh, joining you with it in the future. Cheers, guys.